What is the best piece of advice ever given to you, Michael? Give me more than one, again, hmm. personal and professional. Well, my, I had a great editor at the Globe, Robert Taylor, and he, he introduced me to racing. Okay. And uh, I never thought racehorses were athletes. Now, right. now I know they're superior to their human counterparts, <laughs> but then I did I it. And uh, Bob Taylor was a brilliant editor. I mean, he was, it was like watching somebody do the Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. And he always, he, he, he told me one of the, when I first started handing in copy, which at the time, of course, I was young and thought it was brilliant, and mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't. It was dull, and it was, you know, it wasn't very glossy. And, and he would just take it in his hand, and he'd move a word around here, and he'd move a paragraph, and all of a sudden, in like 90 seconds, it would really look very good. And I said, I've got to hang around with this guy. And his, his advice was, uh, I don't want you ever to use three words when one will do. And I thought... <laughs> I haven't really followed that advice that well, but I was going to say that's probably not very easy for you to do. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I love it. Can you can you define leadership in one word in the great English lexicon? As I ask all our guests, well, since this show's about leadership, it's, I've never been able to figure it quite out. You know, we had a horse named Patton at the farm, named after General Patton. Nice. And I I never felt that was real leadership. Um, I, the whole idea of old friends is. I think the, I, the idea is really good. I think the idea of old friends is really good. Mm -hmm. And I think if you have a really good idea whose time has come, it's hard to screw it up. Mm -hmm. And vice versa. If you have a bad idea good and you're point. pushing, 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 it will never work. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think the, the, the leadership in, in, in old friends' case is, doesn't come from me. It really comes from the idea that mm -hmm. people would love to come and see these horses. And, and I think, you know, Brereton Jones was surprised that all these people would want to come and see these horses. But now he, understand, he understands it a lot better. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people understand it a lot better. And, and frankly, in a very practical way, if you can prove that these horses have economic value beyond their racing and breeding days, then it, that makes every horse mm -hmm. safer.